What is up, ladies and jelly beans? Uh, it is me, Pantsless Aaron, and uh, we are about to finish off Leon's story in Resident Evil 2. <laughs> I started enjoying this a lot more once I learned to do that. Uh, okay, so uh, we're going to finish off this game once and for all. Well, at least until I decide to do the other two scenarios, but uh, one thing at a time, I think. Alright, so... As I figured would happen, in between uh, takes, uh, <laughs> the box got moved back up because I closed the game. And uh, that was not very bright, but that's okay because I've, I've got to come back up here anyway to drop off those ink ribbons I don't need. So now I will push the uh, box back onto the platform. Unfortunately, again, another waste of time, sadly, but... Trying to keep that stuff to a minimum and get through this game as fast as possible. Alright, and once I get it onto the elevator, we can take it back down. And, uh, yeah, good stuff. Alright, let's get this thing off the elevator a little bit and then get behind it on this side. Push it to the wall. And then we're gonna get behind it over here and push it this way. And we are pushing it up forward, so. And then we will get behind it here and push it all the way to the end, which is where I want this box to be. Yes. C. Perfect. All right. What's down this way? I forget. Oh, an elevator to a place. Let's uh, check that out. Hopefully, I won't have to move that box again. Hopefully, it'll stay in place this time. I just th thought of that. I'm like, maybe I should go up. Maybe this wasn't bright, but... Whoa! Whoa! Again, guys. And problem solved. Alright, so glad I could be of some service. Click. And we have elevator. Uh, I don't think there's anything else of value here, so we're gonna head back up. And again, one hopes. One hopes that the uh, box is still where I put it. And it is! Excellent! Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Box! You're the greatest! Alright. Oh, can't get in here anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, get off. Thank you. I hate when occasionally you have to find that, like, one spot where it'll let you, uh... Where it'll let you, uh, step down. But that's alright, because all we really needed to do here was, uh turn on the elevator, and it's on, so we can now go back. Back into the fray, sir. Uh, I'm starting to think that... Uh, what's-his-face is gonna show up soon? I could be thinking of Claire, and now that I think about it, I think I am thinking of Claire. Yes, I am. It is on Claire B that a Tyrant shows up there, maybe? Kind of? Not sure? Making shit up as I go? Kind of unnaturally high voice now. Don't know why that is. Just, uh, just saying. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, here we are. In, in the lab. And I'm not even going to bother with any of the higher caliber, so to speak, uh, the weaponry. When I have handgun bullets for days, one of you is faking it. I'm like, I saw you. You weren't spreading. You're not dead. Thank you, Auto Aim. <laughs> Auto Aim lets you know when they're not dead. Master Key. Uh oh. Uh, hey, there's the thing. I can go in and see if Ada's there, but she won't be. 
Again, I'm wasting time because screw it. Otherwise, this would be like a 20 minute up. Because, I mean, we were right at the end. Ada? Where did she go? <laughs> it's rare to see that cutscene, but. Um, I don't know, I just, I had never, I, I, I think, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen that before, but I, I do rarely think to, you know, check the, check the train. Because of course Ada's gone. Of course she's got other shit to do. She was never here for John. I mean, that's something my, uh, you know, teenage brain figured out pretty damn quickly. I'm like, she's got an agenda, she's got something, she's probably after the virus, and, uh, Lo and behold, I'm sorry, spoiler alert, for those of you who are six and couldn't pick up on that particular uh, plot twist. So, we go make a fuse. And again, this room is entirely empty. Except for the stuffs we need. Fuse case! Make me a super fuse! Super fuse! Oh man. That was a lot of, you know, hand built and designed animation for what is essentially uh, just putting one thing into another thing. There is like, uh, 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 unless, unless they know something about these fuses that I don't, which is entirely possible. I mean, it's, it's not entirely unexpected that, you know, the extremely high voltage fuses would need special care, but I mean, it basically just twisted it into place. I mean, is there a reason why, like, Leon couldn't just put on gloves and be done with it. I guess not. So anyway, I'm just bullshitting here anyway. Oh, let's see. Is there anything fun to talk about? I don't think so right off the top of my head. I covered everything in my last video that was really special and surprising. Uh, I believe, yeah, left door is locked. Oh, this part sucks a little bit. Whoa! <laughs> Screw you, buddy! <laughs> Glad I had my, uh, my shotgun ready. But you guys are getting pistoled to death. Sorry, bro. Get down. Get, gosh, I get down. Jackhole. Alright, grab the key. That is literally all I need. But, I can go through into the next area if I so choose. Uh, I cannot turn the gas on, because I already did it as Claire. And now, because I did, uh, the plant creatures, I believe, are going to be stronger. I'm not ex- no. <laughs> Absolutely not. I believe the plant creatures will be stronger. Uh, you know what? I don't remember exactly how it all works, but I know that something happens and then something else happens. Oh my. You boys look hungry. Ready for your kibbles and bits? Got all of that shotgun. And hey! Two shells for 14? Deal. Thank you. Thanks for flying Shotgun Airlines. Click. Alright. Just gonna drink my raspberry lemonade here. I enjoy all things raspberry. Ugh. No, maybe not all things. I don't think I'd get much joy out of a raspberry penis, but... And two shots should do it. And it did. Good day, gentlemen. Good day. Uh, was there any reason to go in the lab room over? And good day. 
I say good day. Well, you know what? I'm already here. I already have the lab key. I might as well stay on this floor and go hit that one door that I know it takes a lab key. Ah! Screw you. Uh, I actually don't need to kill him. Those first two blocking my way didn't really have much of a choice, but that guy can stay. He will, as, as long as you run around him, he will rarely hit you. Um, so, you know, the friendly ones like that, I give them names. That one is Greg. Beepersons. Beeply beeps and the Beepersons. And... Oh! Play thingy! Now, Where are you? Oh no! Oh no! I've been poisoned! Screw you! Ow! Did you just punch me in the face? You right tit! Alright, and I came all the way over here for... Oh, just some more... Oh, a lot more bullets! Sixteen bullets! Good deal, kind of, if I wasn't poisoned. And going... <laughs> well, shit. Now I gotta find some blue... Blue herb. Actually, I'm pretty sure I know where some is. Uh, well, uh, technically speaking, I don't have to. I could go on like this, but I, I believe his normal running speed is slightly faster. Not that it would make much of a difference going out of my way to get... Ow! Jeez! Uh, sturdy. Get off me. Get off me with your sick porn stuff. I ain't, I ain't got, you know... I, I got no truck with that. Porny, porny stuff. Uh, not in here, in the other room. Damn it. Can I crawl through? No. Son of a bistro. Yeah, this is like the worst speedrun I could have done. It's got to be over two hours at this point. Uh, and I've still got a good maybe 20 minutes to go. So yeah, disappointed in myself. Yes, please. So he stops huddling over like an old man. Hey, we're telling you guys about that time I fought off zombies and mutant plants and other bullshit like that. Screw you, buddy. Screw you, too. You missed me. Nice loogie, you hawk there. I don't think anyone's ever said that sentence in the history of anything. Oh, damn it. The stairs downstairs are this way. Aaron, you moron. Alright, eventually I'll get my head out of my ass. But today is not that day. Wow. Just, wow. It's painful. And I love how no one ever really addresses the giant frigging plant creature just hanging out there. I mean, I'm sure it gets blown to hell when the whole base goes kaput, but I mean, still. Nobody freaks out even a little bit. Just what the fuck is that? It's all it's all I would like to hear. Hello. Drop down. Kaboom. Ow. In your face. Put a shotgun shell in your butt. Nice miss. Oh, screw you. Not letting you just circus jump at me. Whatever the hell you would call it. Ah! Good day, sir. I said good day. So, uh, I don't know what else to talk about, honestly. Um, I saw Captain America, the first one. The first Avenger. The Captain America, the first Avenger. Excuse me. Uh, last night. And... Ooh, the light's on. Oh, map of the lab. Yay! Not that I really care. Got uh, maps and shit like that all sorted out now, thanks. Mm. Raspberry lemonade. All 
of the, um... So... Of course I'm gonna go deal with that dude. Of course. Gonna kill the second giant wasp creature. Or at least I think there was a second one. I don't know, maybe they replace it with something else. And ka-ching! And just like that, I have eight free magnum bullets. And we're gonna use them. We're gonna use all of them. Good day! Good day! Good day! Your turn. You. Any left? Ooh, power room key. Hello. Any more? No? No, dead? Alright, I got three shots left. They all pop and go boom. Fun stuff. So... Head over here and pop three caps in uh, that... Uh, Yay, no more lab key. And that, uh, wasp thing. Waspy wasperson. We're not? Are we clear? Nope. Hello. And dead. Perfect. Combine and... Uber Magnum. Raw. I'm not going to waste it on these things. There is literally no point. One shotgun blast would clear them all. Fuck it. <laughs> At least it should have cleared them all. Well, that was a waste of a shotgun shell. Good day, sirs. Yes. Umbrella. Reuse Rotom. I'm sure that was racist, but, uh... I, I, <laughs> Alright, let's... Oh, uh, that's right, the, now that we're in B scenario, I can actually get into the uh, special room. Thanks to Claire already putting her fingerprints in. Although, technically, she did that after the alarm went off. And we haven't even reached the alarm part yet. But, uh... I'm gonna go right ahead, because, uh, I just break all the rules. That is my function in life. Oh, mercy. So, yeah, might be on a game show soon. Might, uh, out myself as an idiot in front of the entire country. Which is awesome. Uh, but, you know... Lifetime dream and all that. And also getting to meet Mark Labette will probably make it worth it. I just really don't want to be that guy who misses, like, that really easy question. And then just, like, like that one lady on Millionaire who thought an elephant was bigger than the moon. I don't want to be her. I mean, I get that sometimes nerves overtake all of us. It happens. It happens even even being a theater student and being exposed to large audiences and uh, things of that nature from time to time does not make me immune. Uh, yeah, I get nervous, same as everybody else. But, um... I don't know, we'll see. I, I, I occasionally do really well under pressure other times. Ah! Not so much. Not so much. Um, this is a master key. Um, actually, there is one, one story I can tell, which uh, isn't the best story in the world, considering what I want to do on this show, but... Anyway, you know... I, uh, I went on my, f my very first quiz show that I ever went on, I answered exactly one question. One out of dozens. It was a Scholastic Bowl, which, to me, 
is neither scholastic nor a bull, so why the hell? But, on the flip side, it was literally the only way to- Whoa! You! Me! You murdered my husband! Um, I didn't know such thing. I know what you're looking for! You came for the G-Virus, didn't you? You never take it from me! This is my husband's legacy! What? Now, where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. Sorry? What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> You're so gullible. She's one of the operatives sent here by the agency. <laughs> the only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. That's a lie. No, it's the truth. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about Umbra. That can't be. I know her. No, you don't. Ada wouldn't do something like that. Yes, she would. If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. You're about to die anyway. Excuse me. Like, Leon, you're a cop. You couldn't have had the drop on her like 12 years ago? Of course, the Magnum is really badass now, but it also comes with a uh, free... <laughs> A free pushback with every shot. But hey! I wound up with more bullets overall, so it's a win. And holy crap am I decked for bear with magnum bullets. I'm tempted just to use those for the rest of the game, honestly. I don't think there's that much more that will attack or can hurt me. At all. Click! Uh... So yeah, there's, there's a lot of dissonance in that, uh... In that speech, uh, Annette has lost more than a few of her marbles. Um, <laughs> she, she claims that Leon's a spy, and then laughs and calls him stupid when he claims not to know that Ada's a spy. So, she's basically saying, I know you came here for the G-Virus. And then she laughs and goes, you didn't know your partner was here to get the G-Virus? You're an idiot. Which is, uh, they both seem kind of bullshit. Whoa! Tyrant, no! I have this huge gun that really stops him every time I use it, but I'm not gonna fire. Run! Ada! Way to help her out, Leon. Ada! Does nothing. Oh! But shit, that was flawless. She was like, screw you, put the gun right in his eye. Pop, pop. Leon, please, escape. No. We're a team. I can't just leave you behind. I'm just a woman. That's sexist. In two hours? Oh, it's touching, but it's bullshit. Uh. Ada. No. Ada! The self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. Whoops. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. I will always remember you. Goodbye, Ada. I don't know, how about you, uh, just, uh, like, uh, save her life a little? You know, that's, that sounds fair. I mean, she's not dead! You gigantic asshole! Oh yeah, that's right, it's his first day. Probably didn't get that, uh, how to tell whether or not a victim's alive or dead course yet. And oh yeah, because they never die. Kadunk. Hello. Like boy, that lava was awfully handy. Leon, you made it. Claire, is that you? Where are you? I can see you on the monitor, but never mind that right now. Leon, 
have to go back and get Sherry for me. I left her in the security office. Please, you must save her. Wait a second. What are you going to do? Where are you going? I still have a few loose ends to take care of. I'm counting on you. Hello? Claire, are you there? Claire! The security office? I always thought it would have been a really cool dick move if you could have gone through the rest of the scenario without getting Sherry. And then you start up the train, Claire gets on, and she realizes that Sherry isn't there, and Leon starts to stammer some bullshit excuse when Sherry shows up, mutates into her evil form, and kills both of you. I'm like, come on, that's such an obvious, you know, good slash bad ending you could throw on there. Well, I don't mean that that ending was good, I mean that it would have given you a chance to have the choice between a good or a bad ending, but... Whatever, it was just a dumb thought I had once. Among many. But as I recall, the game will not let you go to the, uh, the evacuation area without Cherry, so... <sighs> And you kind of automatically put her on the train, so... I was right, I literally can go through the rest of the game using just my Magnum. How do I... How do I wind up with so many bullets? Sherry, I've come to get you out of here. Claire is waiting for you. I mean, talk about overpowered. In Resident Evil games where, you know, managing your ammo is one of the most important things you can do. In Leon B, it doesn't even matter. Yep. Click. Hey, they spelled elevator right, so they can get it right. How about that? Oh, man. Leon's such a good guy. Again, Ada comes out in this particular scenario as not being the spy that that uh, Annette claims her to be, but uh, in in the book she very clearly is. Spoiler alert! Just rest here for now. Claire should be back soon. And, um, it's interesting, now that I think about it, this, uh, selection, Claire A and Leon B, is very much, um, I want to say that it, hey, platform key, uh, screw it, let's go. Uh, I do so enjoy this theme. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, the Claire A slash Leon B scenario is... feels to me like it's the action scenario. Like, everything comes out more action-oriented, you know? Gotta make the vaccine, gotta get Sherry to the train, gotta get the vaccine to Sherry. All that, uh, you know, tense stuff. Uh, yeah, d d screw the shotgun, it'll be back up. With 50 shells. Could literally clear out everything in the game with either the Magnum or the shotgun. Five minutes until detonation. Shit. Uh, I gotta go behind one of these, but I don't know if it's this side or the other. It's not this side. Oops. Oh well. Five minutes to detonation. Here we go. There we go. This is what I need. Open up. Give me them bad boys. Yoink. Excellent. Boy, I'm glad I took that summer course on being an electrician. <laughs> I 
Well, hell, even I figured out power connections and, you know, printers and copiers on my own, so... Maybe Leon can do it too. Handy excuse to turn the lights off. And then this happens. He pissed at me. Now. 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 See, my thing is, I don't know how you could do this without a shitload of, like, not a shitload, but like, like at least a couple of health potions. Because no, 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 shit. Rocket launcher. Good day. Game over. At this close range, Leon should be toast too. But uh, we're just gonna ignore that. Should literally kill both of them. So you just learned that Ada's still alive, and she's somewhere up there. But no, we're gonna leave. Well, at least one assumes that was Ada. For all Leon knows, it could have been Annette, but why on earth she would do that, I have no idea. But we know it's not Annette, because she died and the other thing, but then Ada was supposed to be dead, so it doesn't really matter. Anyone can come back to life, whatever the hell they want. So, you know, as long as we're cool. I remember my first time playing this game, I used uh, my last uh, rocket launcher on these guys. Because, I don't know, I thought it was funny. Pop. And that's all of you. Open the door. And get on the freaking train. And start that bitch up without waiting for Claire. Literally. He could have just waited like 30 seconds for Claire to show up. And call her on the radio for God's sake. But no. I'm just gonna get this thing started whether she's here or not. Cause that's what a good cop does. I loved the cutscenes in this game when it first came out. I still find them thrilling, if not the most graphically impressive cutscenes ever. But they're still a lot of fun. Sherry's unconscious. I have the antidote. If I give it to her. It's like the one time in the entire game that the dialogue and the mouth moving are spot on. What's happened? Not now. Come on, Cherry, wake up. Wake up. Please wake up. And she kills them both. Claire? Damn it. Where am I? It worked. Oh, Sherry. You're going to be okay. <laughs> oh, you're going to have mind shattering trauma from all of this crap, but uh, it's over. Your body, at least, will be okay. Find my brother. You're right. This is just the beginning. Nobody ever breaks down and cries from this shit. You know? Goodbye, Ada. I love this so much. This, to me, was the greatest surprise in the history of games. What was that? Warning. Biohazardous outbreak imminent. The emergency system has been activated. This train will detonate. Repeat, this train will detonate. Oh, because you haven't been through enough. What's wrong? I don't know. The door won't open. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm just gonna equip my rocket launcher. Whoa. That's new. Time to go. Bye! Holy shit, it's a wall of teeth! William, you have looked better. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, I'd back up. I'd back up. Just quite a lot. Not only do those arms look like they can slap the crap out of you, but then they do this! Pop. Oh crap. <laughs> Rocket launcher didn't stop him! Just start firing like crazy, you know? It's all you can really do. to get that on my shoes either. Holy crap, that's horrifying. <laughs> ah, time to go. Alright, relax and enjoy one of the greatest endings of video game history. Finally over. Sherry, you look terrible. No worse than you, Claire. Come on, time to leave. Now? What's wrong? Is something following us? We have to go. We don't have any time to waste. Go? Where? Hey, it's up to us to take out Umbrella. <laughs> Oh, man! I still get chills, man! Oh, I just love that stuff! It jazzes me so- Oh, this is new! This is new! This must be a thing they added to the GameCube release, because I, I, as far as I recall, the uh, credits for the PlayStation version and all the other, all the other versions that I ever played was just, just text over a black background, but uh, if they're putting clips underneath it, it's even better. And listen to this music! 
What did I tell you? It's rocking. Sorry, couldn't help myself. <laughs> if I ever did learn guitar, this would be this would probably be the very first thing I'd want to learn. It would be damn near impossible because it's like crazy solos and all over the place, but I would totally want to be able to play this, are you kidding me? Oh man, so good. Uh. But yeah, yeah, this is. There's a reason why this game is still in my top five, you know? I'm not sure if it's number four or number five. I think it's number five, actually. I think Castlevania Symphony of the Night just barely beats it out, but. It's such good stuff, man. I mean, how can you. I love this, and I love the fact that the B-side fakes you out. Because it ends almost identical to the A-side, so you think when they say their last line on the train, you think it's just done, right then and there. And then, nope, you're not done yet! William just refuses to give up. <laughs> He's a literal wall of teeth. He's just... That's all he is. Just a huge wall of teeth. It's awesome! I love this game so much! Anyway. Thanks for letting me geek out all over you. Uh, about one of my favorite games. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the journey too. And then I haven't wasted your time. So... Let's see how I did. Did I beat the 2 hour 30 minute mark? I'm pretty sure I did. Yep, 208. While I find that slightly hard to believe, I have to remember that my uh, uh, my uh, my playthroughs have been tempered by. Um... Yay! Submachine gun! Yay! Uh, you can get the Gatling gun, I believe, by using um, by by just going through the game that fast without saving, which is a daunting. Yeah. Thing to suggest if one were to play without cheats, but dun 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 new scenario. And you can, it's interesting. Um, it doesn't have nearly, of course, the amount of content that the main game has, but still, it's something. And it's interesting, so I almost always make a make a uh, a game for it. X Battle One. Oh, and this scenario too. I forgot about the X Battle. That was a thing that they added for uh, the Dual Shock version of Resident Evil Two, and uh, I believe it's on the PC version as well. Yes, I will save it. Hunk! He's a hunk hunk of burning love. Alright, well, uh, thanks for sticking with me uh, throughout all of this stuff. Uh, and as a, uh, as a final uh, thank you, um, I'm going to offer you now, uh, a free copy of Tesla Effect, one of my favorite games, possibly my game of the year, still to this point. Great full motion video, comedy, adventure game. It's an absolute blast, and, uh, I've got another copy to give away for free. So, all you've got to do is, down in the comments, down below, put something, including the phrase, Wall of Teeth. Alright, so, uh, just go ahead and put that down. And, uh, of course, once again, uh, out of all the entries, I'll pick a random one, thanks to random.org, and that person will, that person will receive the free copy. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, thanks for watching, uh, thanks for, uh, indulging me in my Resident Evil 2 fanboyism, and, uh, Hope you, uh, if, if you want a free copy of Tesla Effect, you just gotta follow the instructions I laid out. 
And uh, I will, again, as, as usual, I will determine who wins after 72 hours from the, this video's posting. And I am not going to be held responsible. I cannot be held responsible for uh, lost and or stolen keys once they have been uh, submitted, transmitted to the winner. So, you know, just don't be stupid about it. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's about all I got to say. Uh, thanks again, and uh, I will catch you guys next time.